Morning. So there we go, the River Yelm behind us. And we have the very barest of breezes. And we're literally sort of just going out under a slight breeze. Successfully executed, sails raised, just off anchor and away under jib and mizzen at first into a bit of space and then raising the sail. You can just make out um, the spire of Wembley Church over there. Uh, that's one of my um, stargazing spots. And we're on top of the tide now, so it's just gone eight and we're heading out. Uh, once we clear here, I expect the breezes will pick up a bit, um, but they are they are light, uh, five, four, five, six knots at the most um, for the vast bulk of the morning. And there we go, uh, the Elm River Point. That's a nice coastal walk all around that headland, um, and it gives you stunning, stunning. Um, views, coastal scenery. And that's where we're aiming for, up ahead, Rain Head, if we ever get there. It's going to be one of those slow days. Very light winds, as in possibly almost non-existent and also definitely coming from the wrong direction. So I'm not quite sure which way they're coming from. They're supposed to be northerlies, but that's definitely not the case. Pinging an all okay message here to the boss. And I can't see any ripples on the surface, wind ripples. Well, there we go. Nothing. Lovely morning though, there's Wembry. Wembry Beach anyway, and the church. Hmm. That is the sound of a boat drifting on the outgoing tide. Not a flutter. No sail flapping. Nothing. Still gorgeous though, look at that. Is this what the meteorologists term a glassy sea? Gonna take a bit of time to get to Rainhead. Sorry about that. This fishing rod is 52 years old. I had it when I was eight. And mum and dad did it on the Green Shield stamps. Those of you who are old enough to remember Green Shield stamps. And this rod 
has been through it all, 52 years old and it's still going strong. At the moment though, there doesn't seem to be much out there, if I was truthfully honest. There's lots of jellyfish about. I think the mackerel are getting savvy, you know. Another one there, just by the end of the rod tip. They are funny things, aren't they? There it is. <laughs> Beautiful. Going under the boat now. Well, other boats have left. I think they're trying to tell me something. I don't think we're going to get much here. So we'll uh, potter off. Um, but there were several boats here and they've all disappeared off so I think that probably tells me all I need to know. Um, where we are now is just here so we're just coming past um, the mew stone now and we're just in this area just here and that there is the mew stone so the mew stone is that there it looks like a a big headland and then beyond the Mewstone is the whole of Plymouth Sound right, we'll have a look at that in a minute or two that's the breakwater and at the moment that's over there where that Royal Fleet Auxiliary ship is it's north of the breakwater inside the actual sound area we came yesterday we came out of Queen Anne's Battery, just here, and we anchored just, uh, sorry, moored up just here, raised sails here, and then we sailed out and we came all the way down the side of Jenny Cliff Bay. And then we came across and went across the north of the breakwater into King Sand and Core Sand just there, which is Corsand Bay, and then from Corsand Bay we then came across up to the OSR Boys and then up to the Draystone Boy. We then sailed around and over to Rame Head, which is just here, and then we had a great crossing, quite exhilarating, all the way across in the northerly winds, all the way across the outer Plymouth Sound, round the back of the Mewstone, and then into the River Yelm, and that's where we anchored last night, Sellers Beach. You can see that that uh, spit there, and that's where we anchored last night, and dried out. And today, the plan is that we reverse it, I was going to go all the way around and over to Rame Head again, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll come back, we'll come across into Corsan Bay, and then we'll do another potter around um, Plymouth Sound. Okay, yes, I've sinned. I got as far as just past the Mewstone. Life's too short to wait for winds. And I wasn't gonna row three miles across the Corsan. I know, I know. Sand Bay and I've just come over and anchored just for a bit while the winds uh, sort themselves out 
they're really fluky at the moment the winds are literally going from north around to south and back again and it's been like that for the last 30 minutes or so um, complete complete 180 switch but the breezes are picking up so we will go sailing in a bit but I just thought I'd come and have a stop and a pause in one of my favourite anchorages. Well, now the breeze has kicked in, it's time to up anchor and be off. Um, we'll do it under jib and mizzen again, I think. It's the easiest way out. Just left the anchorage under jib and mizzen and winds are fickle uh, they fill and ease and they are changing directions constantly but we are out of the main anchorages uh, between the boats so we are getting somewhere create a bit of space and we'll uh, raise the main and see if we can go off somewhere. That's better. Just ease that. Uh, look at that, the wind's dropped. It's been gusting and I thought, oh good, time to go and it's dropped again. Still, not a bad view to while away the time. sail up Well, that went okay. We cleared the anchorages, managed to raise sail and now there's a nice breeze building. We're heading over to the breakwater and then we'll go down the side of Jenny Cliff Bay again and then we'll potter off and find somewhere else. Oh, this is better now. That gustiness has gone and the winds are steadying.
be nice if the rest of the summer's like this. Ah, oh, I may have jinxed that. Rats, that was a stupid thing to say, wasn't it? Quite a few engineers on the breakwater today. I wonder what they're doing. all the people in the hard hats on the edge of the breakwater if you look right down at the water's edge you can see two seals bless them whoa that thing's just come straight over the top of us god that was scary Don't see that every day, do you? Poor old seals. That disturbed them. the RFA tide race up ahead. Um, she's a replenishment tanker for naval operations. Um, about 37,000 tonnes, I think, if I remember, and a 10-metre draft. She's got about top speed of 27 knots. Just heading over to the bridges up ahead. Um, it's a safe shortcut channel passage into the mouth of the Tamar on the western side of Drake's Island here. Um, 
either side's a bit shallow and rocky um, and basically to be avoided use the bridges There's the Pont de Venge, she's almost ready to depart for Roscoff in northern Brittany. Now, on my last series, pottering around Plymouth Sound, some cynical folk cast doubt on my ability to sail up to a buoy. So, I'm going to go do it again, just for the sheer hell of doing it. So, here we go. Let's see what happens. Hey, and remember, these are fluky winds at the moment. This could be interesting. I hope you've enjoyed this latest episode. Uh, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, download a playlist, join us on our next voyage. Fair winds to you all. Happy sailing. Take care now.